What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and today is going to be a great day. It's going to be an exciting day. Right in front of me is our next project and I wanted to make sure I got this one right from the beginning because this truck was actually just dropped off here but we've had a lot of parts for this thing for a good bit of time um, so we have a lot of stuff in the shop that's already prepped already ready to go but we finally have the truck here so we're gonna pull this thing in we're gonna get started on it uh, while it's out here I, I guess I should show you what it is sorry 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 to keep you waiting but there it is this is Jack's single cab Cummins with the twin turbo compound kit on it looking oh so nice but about to look a lot a lot better <laughs> Have some really really good stylistic changes for this thing coming here and I'm really excited to, to take you along with this one because this is the first build that I'm actually I'm actually videoing with the truck here so you've seen the the high country build we only had the parts but this one we have the whole truck because we have to put a roll pan on it we're going to put a cow hood on it we're gonna put a sport bumper on the front end we're gonna put a color match grill surround we're gonna color match all the handles we have new fourth gen style mirrors in there for it and we got to buff up some stuff on it we're also going to replace this left fender there's some damage right in this area right by the emblem it's not too too bad but we could probably fix it but they're also down here it's pretty chewed up from these nittos hitting it and there's a couple other dings and dents on the fender there's one up here a couple other little guys so we're just going to go ahead and get a whole new fender for it we're going to blend the paint in the door as well to make it look right so anyways without further ado we're, i'm going to get Corey. he's going to get in this thing and let's get it in the shop So we got the Boost Auto Parts 4th Gen style mirrors out for the single cab, 3rd Gen. Spencer and I here are gonna go ahead and get these taken apart. Let's get to it. <laughs> And we got everything apart, pulled the glass out, the lower glass. We got the lower pieces underneath the mirrors pulled out. And this is about as far as we can take these mirrors without breaking into some of this intricate stuff in here. So we're gonna go ahead and start prepping everything up. Let's do it. All right, guys, as you can see, we got a ton of work done to this thing. We got the new fender on up front. We got the door prepped ready for blend. We took everything apart so there's no overspray or peeling paint. We got all that prepped. There's a little bit of damage to the front of the door. We went ahead and fixed that. And then there was a little bit of, there was a little scratch right here too that we went ahead and got fixed all up nice. So we also got the bed polished out. The bed was in great shape, but for some reason it was just kind of dull. I don't know where it sat for its life, but we got it out nice and shiny just like the rest of the truck um, we also got the roll pan on in the rear we went ahead and bolted this on so we didn't scratch it after we installed it because it is a little bit of work with the bed sides trying to get it lined up but as you can see if I pull this tape off here everything lined up really really nice so yeah there it is I mean nice even line there's a little bit of chip right there and there uh, that we have to touch up we're still working on the color on this truck we're still working on getting the white to match right there's a small chance that we'll have to actually blend the paint into these bedsides to make the roll pan look right we're just gonna have to wait and see how close we can get it because I don't want it to look out of place that the roll pan is a different color white is actually a difficult color to match if you put whites next to each other you could actually tell the difference GM white Dodge white and Ford white they all have different 
different shades. Some have a little bit more yellow, some have a little bit more white, some have red in them, green, blue, all that kind of stuff. It is a little bit of work. I wouldn't say that this color is the same as a brand new Ram pickup truck color. Uh, each one has its own kind of variations. So we're working on this color a little bit to try, try to get a really nice match uh, without blending everything out. Some of the areas I don't really want to blend, I don't really want to blend the bedsides if I don't have to. I don't want to blend the, the right fender if I don't have to. We're going to try and get the hood close match. If you actually look right here, it almost looks like a different color, even in the light here but it all depends on which way you look at it and hopefully we can we can make it look just the same when it's done i should say i was on actually on vacation all last week so all this stuff was done by the guys i kind of told them hey look when you get a chance work on it see what you can do and this is what they got done which is really good really really helpful the next step for this, we gotta finish prepping it. Um, we're actually loading the booth right now. We're loading it up with all the mirrors, the hood, the bumper, and some of the other small handles and stuff like that. I have to paint all that stuff first. So that way I have enough room because the truck's not gonna fit with all that stuff. So we're actually gonna head over, check that out, see how Juan is doing. He's he's loading everything up in the booth and then we'll get, we'll get started on doing some painting. All right. So we're getting pretty close. We have the mirrors in here, bumpers in here, ready to go. We got the texture taped up so we can leave that black. Got the cow hood set up on a stand and we're getting the grill rearranged here so we can get all that painted as well. Yeah, anyways, let's finish loading up the rest of the stuff in the booth here and then we're gonna start spraying some sealer. All right guys, we got everything in here. So we have two final steps we have to do. I have to go ahead and fine line right here. The bottom part of this bumper is textured plastic. It makes it look like a lower van. Balance, uh, on the bottom of a bumper, but it's actually built in. You can see right here the texture. Usually a lot of times we sand that out and then and then go ahead and paint the whole bumper, but I feel like on this truck, being that it's like a lowered truck, I think it's gonna look good to leave the black in there, make it look a little bit nicer. We're gonna do just like the factory did. We're gonna mask this up right here. I'm gonna be using some fine line tape so it leaves a nice edge. And then all we have to do from there is wipe everything down and we can start spraying. So let's get to it. is very nice very nice and clean looks good the whole way across get some sealer in the gun and let's start painting that we are done got everything all wrapped up all clear base and this thing is just looking sick i cannot wait to see this especially this hood and that bumper on this truck it's really gonna set it off i mean just look at that little bit of cow just a small little bump up there it's really gonna give it that mean race truck look which was what we're going for yeah let's keep walking around and i'll show you everything everything came out really good there's Probably a couple of nibs that I have to wet sand and polish out, but that's to be expected, especially with this hot, humid summer day. Bound to happen from stuff in the air or from me or the gun or whatever, but no big deal. A little bit of wet sand and polish. All this will just start looking really, really good as if it doesn't look good already, I should say. It's looking really, really nice now. I mean, just look at the, the shine on that. Really doesn't matter where you look on this. I mean, even up in these corners, all just nice and nice and shiny. This grill, we're gonna go ahead and get the chrome inserts in the hood. We have a couple things to do on it. We're gonna see if the insulator will work underneath. We're gonna get this hood 
on the truck after we paint the truck of course the bumper definitely have a lot of work to do with this bumper just a minute ago when you guys were watching i spent a lot of time in these corners here trying to get my tape to stick i'm not gonna lie there is a little bit of overspray i can't even, i don't even know if it'll come up on camera it's a little bit of white that bled through i couldn't get my tape to stick really really good in these corners um i had to retape it a couple of times maybe you can see on this side just that little bit of white but the good thing is it's just in the base coat so I should just be able to wipe that off with a little bit of thinner and that should take that off and make it look just like the rest of it just a nice clean crisp line I'm not gonna bother untaping the rest of that tape because the paint is still pretty wet and I don't want to risk touching it at all kind of get you a quick little perspective here the white's gonna be at the top black at the bottom just like a factory sport bumper it's just gonna make this truck just look like it was never even redone which is really what we're going for just to make it look OEM got the handles all nice and smooth when I I did the mirrors I folded in here so that way in there it gets all nice and smooth it's just really really nice I mean I'm so excited to get this stuff on the truck get it done I cannot wait to see the final outcome especially when you get paint work that just looks like that if there was no dirt in this in this job I, it wouldn't get polished at all this would be the finished product like I said we're just gonna hit the couple little dirt nibs in it polish it up but yeah I hope you guys are as excited about this stuff as I am I'm super ecstatic that this stuff is all done I can't wait like I said to get it on the truck tomorrow We're gonna go ahead and get all this stuff unloaded We're gonna load the truck in and we're gonna paint the fender blend the door and also paint the roll pan next With that being said that is where I'm gonna have to end this video. Hope you guys enjoyed I hope you like this kind of content. It was a lot of work getting all this filmed I was on vacation last week So I wasn't actually here personally to film a lot of the time lapse and stuff of all the work But the guys took care of that they got everything that I asked them to do they got all that filmed and they got everything done and that's why I'm only two days back from vacation I already have all this stuff in all of its painted and looking great so like I said that's where I'm gonna have to wrap this one up hope you guys enjoyed if you did like the video subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in part two when we finish the truck and then we get all assembled so stay tuned